Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Praise be to Allah, we praise Him and we seek His help. Whomsoever Allah guides is the truly guided one. And whomsoever Allah leaves astray, no one can show Him guidance. We bear witness that there is no God who is worthy of worship but Allah. And we bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his last messenger. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I truly enjoy being with you. May Allah bless you all and accept the best of our deeds. We've been talking about the process of developing khushu' and salah and striving hard to be with Allah in His company while praying, to reflect upon His verses, to focus while supplicating and asking from Him. But sometimes as humans, we tend to forget. Not only forget the meaning of what we recite, sometimes we tend to forget an entire rak'ah. And this is a human nature. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself have forgotten. Once by praying extra and once by praying less. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala seemed to make it this way so that we learn what in case that I forget to do anything that I should do in a salah. Many people would just take the easy way and say, well, my salah has been ruined. And they get out of the salah and they pray over once again. No, you don't have to do that. Out of mercy, Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, prescribed for us what's known as sujood al or the prostration of forgetfulness. Just in case, if any person may forget anything in the salah, what to do? Let's learn from the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Once he said, peace be upon him, I'm just a human like you. I may forget. So if I ever forget, remind me. Subhanallah, how humble. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Well, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu arda once narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in one of the prayers, whether it was Zuhr or Asr, the four rakahs prayer, he actually prayed two rakahs and in the middle tashahud, uh, afterward, he said assalamu alaykum to the right then to the left and he finished the salah. So the companions afterward informed him, Ya Rasulullah, Aqasurat salah has the salah been shortened? What? He said, why? He said, you only pray two. Well, is that true? So the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam right away resumed and he prayed two more rak'ahs. And after he finished the two rak'ahs, he sat for a tashahud, the last tashahud, then he made taslim to the right, then to the left. Then he led them in what's known as sujood al how to pray sujood al Two prostrations. After the last tashahud, without tashahud afterward, but with taslim to the right, then to the left. So the Prophet sallallahu said, after he made two prostrations, then without reciting at tahiyyatu lillah, once again, he made taslim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated another incident whereupon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in Dhuhr prayer, prayed Dhuhr five rak'ahs and the companions were reluctant to do anything uh, thinking that perhaps Allah had increased the number of the prayer. So afterward, one of them said, Ya Rasulullah, azadat al-salah, is there any uh, addition in the salah? He said, why is that? Because he prayed five. Is that true? Yes. So the Prophet ﷺ sat and he prayed two sujoods, two prostrations. Then he sat up, then he made taslim without making tashahud after sujoodu as So this is a mean of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What to do if you're praying in congregation and you notice that the Imam is praying short? or extra. You remind him by saying, Subhanallah, or any dhikr. 
Well, sujood al sahr is prescribed in case that the person will pray less or will pray extra. Or he might be uncertain of how many rak'ahs he prayed. In this case, what to do? If you're not sure whether he prayed three or four, the scholars taught us, if you're not sure, then always consider the lesser. So if you have doubt between three or four, then consider three, and accordingly you will pray one more rak'ah to complete four. Even though if actually you have prayed four, but since you're not sure and you have doubts, then you consider the lesser and you make up the rest. And afterward, you offer sujood al two prostrations, then at the sleep. There are some technical details concerning as when to pray sujood al The scholar said, well, according to the practices of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, if praying sujood al was due to uh, making thing in extra in the salah, then a person should offer sujood al and a taslim after he already finishes the complete course of the prayer and even making salam. But if he had forgotten anything in the prayer, then by the end of the prayer and after reciting the last tashahud before making taslim, he should then go to make two prostrations, two sujood, then sit up and right away make the sleep without making or reciting another tashahud. It happens that the person might be praying in congregation and the imam forgets. And for instance, he prays five rakahs instead of four for dhuhr or asr or isha. What to do? The followers would alert him and would say, Subhanallah, if he's not reminded, Perhaps he's certain that he's right, or perhaps he did not hear. So he's okay. But you, as a follower, if you're sure that you are going to pray extra, if you were to follow the Imam, then you should sit down and recite the tashahud on your own and finish up your prayer. Because praying anything extra than what Allah prescribed even by following the Imam would be a mistake on your own. So your prayer will be invalid even though you are a follower. While the imam's prayer will be valid because he did not know and he was not sure. But the, if the imam is reminded and he knows and he still prays extra, his prayer is invalid anyway. Well, once again, sujood al is a mean of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we talked before that a salah consists of arcane, that every rukni you must fulfill, and if any rukni is not being fulfilled, the entire prayer is invalid. Wajibat, which mandatory acts such as sitting in the middle tashahud, and sunan, such as the supplications we mentioned, reciting the surah after surah al fatiha and so on. Just in case if a person forgets a rukn, the person must make up the rukn plus offering sujood al -sahud. Give you an example. If a person forgot a whole rak'ah, then the person must pray the entire rak'ah and then make it up and correct the mistake by offering sujood al -sah. Well, if the person forgot just one rak'ah of one rak'ah of the four rak'ahs prior, such as sujood in any of the rak'ahs, well, if this rak'ah you are still in it, or you went up, but you have not come to the same part or the same rock which you have forgotten of the previous one, then you need to go back and make the sujood once again, resume as regular, and by the end offer sujood of sah. But if you did not remember until you already completed your prayer, then this entire rakah does not count because it was missing one rock, it was missing either reciting Surah Al Fatiha was missing either ruku' or one of the two sujoods. So what to do? Pray another rak'ah because this one does not count. And then pray sujood al -sah. Of the wajibat or the mandatory practices in the salah, the middle tashahud. Sometimes you tend to forget, you're in a hurry, and you go up to the third rak'ah without sitting for the middle tashahud. What to do? We have to learn our deen. 
we have to understand how to pray and the rulings and regulations concerning our salah. Well, in this case, if you're already up, you should not go back to sit down. No, you should remain up and offer the next rukn as usual. Then by the end of the salah, you make up this wajib by offering sujood al -sah. Dear brothers and sisters, by Allah, in whose hand is my soul? I really enjoyed being with you. I enjoyed talking about khushua in as salah I would like just to give a reminder to my dear brothers and sisters, if any of you still does not pray, or know somebody who still does not pray, please remember Allah the Almighty. Reminds us in Surah al muddathir in verse number 42 about Ashabu al yameen those who will be saved and receive salvation will be in heaven. They will be asking, about what? About the criminals. Asking what? What brought you here in fire? The first answer will be, We were not amongst those who pray. Please, please. Leaving the Salah and abandoning the Salah is one of the most severe sins. One of the most severe sins. Leaving the Salah can take a person out of Islam to kuf. If a person have forgotten any prayer, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَن نَامَ عَن صَلَاةٍ أَوْ نَسِيَهَا فَلْيُؤَدِّهَا إِذَا ذَكَرَهَا فَلْيُصَلِّهَا إِذَا ذَكَرَهَا لَا كَفَّارَةَ لَهَا إِلَّا ذَلِكَ Whenever a person oversleeps, so he sleeps and does not pray the current prayer, or forgets, so let him offer this prayer right away whenever he remembers it. There is no ransom nor expiation to it other than that. Please offer the salah on time. May Allah grant all of us success. And please, after this high dose, about how to develop khushua in as salah you would experience gain in khushua in as salah but we would tend to forget and go back to our old practices. So every once in a while, renew your iman, revise this over, and increase your khushua in as salah Nas'alullah azza jalla an yataqabbala minna. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept from all of us. May Allah forgive us all our sins, and grant us mercy and shower us with his mercy and admit us to his paradise. Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. Thank you so much for being with us during the last episodes of the Prophet's Prayer. May Allah accept. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.